And quickly before we get into this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Ahead for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to pick up cheap and reliable Rocket League items on one of the most trusted sites on the internet, make sure you actually check them out. First link in the description, you can buy and sell your Rocket League items and use code Zenica at checkout for 3% off your orders. As we just hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away either these white wonder that you just saw on screen right there, or 2,800 V-Bucks. All you got to do is drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on their post notifications, and comment down below the details of where I can contact you. And the best of luck to all of you. This is the last chance to enter, and I hope you guys do enjoy the video. And guys, this is why you need to buy yourself the PCC imports. So look at the profit I've just made from that trade. Right, guys welcome back to the channel now today i'm bruno another rocket league video and in today's video i've got episode 10 of the brand new series going from nothing all the way up to the dissolver mystery decal if you guys are unaware of what this series is basically i'm going from one pcc crate all the way up to the brand new dissolver mystery decal that just came out of the triumph crate from the recent update but if this is the first time you've seen this series make sure to click the link in the description it will take you down to a playlist where you can watch every single episode and then eventually get to this one so you can see where i've come from and if you guys do want to see more of this series make sure to smash that like button right now let's try and aim for 400 likes for the hype of the giveaway that i'm going to be doing next episode as well so make sure you click that like button if you haven't already and also if you are not already make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified with every single video i upload but without further ado let's get straight into this episode i hope you guys enjoy so the very first trade of this episode is basically me getting an incredible deal for my spiralises this guy said that he had a load of spring fever crates and he said that i should offer and i said i don't really want the spring fever crates but he still invited me to a trade and said it would just take whatever i can actually offer that's half decent so i put up spiralises maybe thinking that he wouldn't do it for that but he actually ticked up the first time it cancelled which is a glitch that rocket league are actually patching very soon which is good but basically, this guy gave me 24 Spring Fever crates for the one surprise, which is actually an incredible deal, even though they don't sell. Shortly after, I find myself a buyer that wants to buy some of my other crates, and he said he has a Nitro, and I can't say no to get more Nitros. Even the PCCs and the Nitros are going up even more. Like, what I said last episode was incredible, but people are actually selling Taurus, where well, they're selling two Taurus for 11 PCCs, which is actually five and a half every single time, which is absolutely insane. People are selling Bios for like seven hex for nine it's absolutely incredible at the moment i wish i didn't sell them but make sure to keep the nitros and the pccs if you do get them i then get myself the most profitable trade i have done of this episode obviously which is the main clip you saw at the start it's me selling my pcc import for four nitros a load of other crates and also a cc4 zsr which i'll actually be able to sell on maybe for one or two pccs i'm not too fussed to be honest because i've already got two pccs out of the nitros all of the other crates probably adds up to another one so that's three and then a ZSR, probably around 5. So maybe a Tora for just one PCC import. That's absolutely incredible profit. I then find myself in a trade with my good friend Sexy Dishwasher, who actually puts up a Triumph crate. So I put up a few Spring Fevers, and then obviously I take out a few. I put it to 20, and I said, that's my offer. I can't offer any more than that, because I know the Triumph crate is actually dropping a little bit. But still, I just wanted to get rid of these crates. And also, he wanted to do the trade as well. So I just thought, why not actually do it? Get myself a triumph crate for all of these bad crates and eventually i might be able to find a buyer who maybe has an import or a non-crate very rare and i'll actually be able to trade the triumph crate for actually well item so then i thought why not get rid of all of my spring fever crates and actually list them up on the market and very shortly after i find a guy that actually wants to sell one of his imports and he wants five crates so i put up five spring fever crates which are obviously the worst crates in the game at the moment join probably with haunted hallows but this guy actually does give me a Roadhog. It's probably one of the worst imports. It used to be quite good when the Volts were around. But obviously the Volts have died off quite a lot. They've dropped in price significantly. And the Lobos were always bad. So still that's a decent trade considering the crates are really bad. Not long after selling all of my Spring Fever crates. I find a guy that actually wants to buy my Triumph. And I offer him, I think it was one Triumph. Yeah, just the regular Triumph. And he puts in a Forest Green Breakout. Which I know I can either get three PCCs. No, three Nitro crates or one PCC out of. Because I have a buyer who will buy it every single time for three Nitro crates. So I don't mind doing that trade at all. Probably getting myself just over a PCC out of the Triumph crate is actually very good right now. Because everyone with the Triumph crates is trying to get a PCC one for one for it now. I then joined myself a random invite and getting this guy's game. And he said he just wants to offer on stuff. So I joined his game and he actually puts up a CC4. And I'm really interested in that. Because the CC4 crate is actually incredibly good. Like, even in the past, it's still really good, but obviously now it's incredibly rare because they've been taken out of the game. As well as the PCC crates that are very rare at the moment, but obviously a CC4 crate is worth more than a PCC. So thinking about it logically, I paid this amount and got myself a CC4 and a little bit of ads. Obviously, I had a tiny, but that's still a good trade for me. 
I then invited him straight back to Traders, I was intrigued to see what he actually had, and he put up a non-crate very rare, so I offered him, I think it was one Nitro crate, and two very rares at once from the non-crate, I think they were just overdrives or something like that, so I don't really care about them, they're not worth that much at all, so I'm pretty much doing Nitro and very small ads, and getting myself another PCC guaranteed, because for every single non-crate very rare, I can probably get myself a PCC, or if I get them in bulk, I might be able to get BMDs or something, but it's still... That's a win-win situation, getting myself some of the more of these non-crate very rares. And then after listing my hex for a very long time, I find a buyer that has a biomass and it has a Torah. And he really wants to get himself a hex. So I was like, okay, sure, I can do that. Because that's a reasonable overpay. If, if Even if you get offered two BMDs and it's two Torahs for a hex, just take it. Because you can flip the two Torahs and then obviously get yourself some PCC crates. Even if you do that, you're getting yourself 10 PCC crates, which is hex and adds. That's if you're selling the tools at a minimum bar in minimum price anyway. But even so, that's a positive trade right there. Probably get myself a parallax in the end for those mystery decals. And then I look on the market and I find this guy that actually wants to buy my bubbly. And he was offering 20xx and buy. I said I can't take that because I'm looking for 20xx and lab. So we added in a non-quake very rare and I can't complain. You know how much I love them? I actually get myself a lot of profit from using those non-quake very rares. So I thought why not get myself just one? That's probably one PCC as adds. Probably get myself a lab out of a buy on one PCC now because the PCCs are absolutely insane at the moment. So if you have any PCCs, make sure to keep all of them and wait for them to keep going up. So that is the last trade of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And we actually made a decent amount of profit flipping different crates and different BMDs and getting ourselves a little bit of profit every single time. And also guys, make sure you have entered the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. All the instructions were at the start of the video and also down in the description. So make sure you do all them. I'll be picking the winner tomorrow night. So make sure you do all the steps as soon as you can. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button right now. 400 likes and I'll bring in a brand new episode in just a couple of days. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys next time. Strong.